What's up everybody? It's a new week, August 19th, and today is a special day. You want to know why? Because it's the deadline for all the athletes that want to compete in the National Athletic Keto Association. It's the first ever keto bodybuilding and fitness competition. It's going to be held here in Dallas, Texas at my gym. We're going to have guest speakers. We're going to have other activities, different vendors out there. It's going to be a really cool and fun, fun day. Uh, October 12th, but today is a deadline. And so what happens now for the next eight weeks, every single one of the athletes have to go live on their Instagram page and they have to test their blood ketones. They have to be at a 0.5 or higher uh, for the next eight weeks. So super excited about that. Also, I'm not competing, but I'm actually doing an eight week, uh, whole new, whole different experiment, training routine and experiment. And I'm gonna share that in a different video. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit different than what you guys are used to. So I'm starting that today. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's a good day. This is going to be a good week and let's get to it. What's going on everybody? All right, so last time I left you, uh, I was supposed to be doing a workout, but I got a phone call from somebody really important in the keto community and he asked if I could jump on a Zoom meeting. So I didn't get to do my normal weight training. I did get 40 minutes of walking on the treadmill today. So I guess that counts towards uh, this week's challenge. You guys might have seen the um, keto coach. They're hosting the uh, keto exercise challenge for the next five days to at least get 20 minutes of exercise and also test your blood ketones. And then also in support of all the NACA athletes that are testing today, I'll go ahead and test with you as well as long as uh, all the people that are doing the keto coach challenge. So there we go, there's a strip. All right, get ready, do, do the little prick of the finger. Boom, got some blood. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, right there. All right, let's see, where am I? Right there, running at a .3. All right, so I'm okay with that. I didn't get all my calories in today, but that's fine. Point three, that's where we are today. Um, tomorrow, we'll check in. All right, see ya. All right, what's up everybody? It's Tuesday and finally getting back to the weight room. I'm going to get a workout in today. So what I'm starting this week, I'm actually going to an old program that I developed a while back. I did it in February and, and March. Uh, it's an eight week program. Uh, we're really focused on a lot heavier lifts. So it's usually about only four to five lifts in the whole workout. And then I'll do some auxiliary lifts afterwards, just kind of finish it off. But it's there, on the days I'm not focusing on just one or two body parts. Um, each lift might be uh, a whole different body part. So it might be chest and legs and then back and then sh shoulders or something. But we're really going a lot heavier, breaking the muscle fibers down. So let's do it. Also, I kept all my records from last time I did this. So I got a good reference of where I'm going to start. Um, and uh, hopefully my numbers will be a little bit better this time. All right. saw me do right there is a rest pause set so I went ahead and did 15 and then I set them down counted to five and then did another four to six reps and I repeated that three more times so uh, definitely incorporate that into your weight training it it works good all right cool that felt good I really enjoyed that so um, I didn't show you guys everything I just showed you the different lifts so my first set I'm going really heavy um, 
probably right closer to the 85, 90% of my maxes, uh, lower reps, and then I'm peeling 10% off and doing three to four sets of everything. Um, like you saw in that last one though, I was doing a rest pause series. But yeah, this is part of the eight week program I did back in February and March. Got some really good results on it. And like I said, I'm doing an experiment right now. Uh, hopefully by this time when you guys are seeing this, you will have seen my video for the experiment, what I'm doing. So anyway, I am going to go get some 30 minutes of cardio in right now and then train my next client and then go get some office work done because we've got NACA coming up and we've got another special event coming up October 26th that I've got announced still. All right, see you later. All right, guys, so I'm back home and <laughs> what a day it's been. You know, we, uh, we made a few changes to NACA. Uh, we, we decided instead of uh, posting a .5 every Monday, and if you don't, you get kicked out, we're actually going to use the uh, ketone levels as a scoring system for the competition. So that really keeps it where people don't get kicked out to compete, but they do get a um, they do lose points by not posting a point five or higher so that's really good um, got some big names to commit to be speakers so I've been doing lots and lots of work and I've got that's not even I've got another big event that I gotta tell you guys about too um, just like NACA I mean it's it it's crazy but I'm home I've got to hurry up, uh, try to slam some food, and then I've got to get on this Zoom meeting for all my online clients that I train. So check in later. If that means, hey, some days you just can't get the workout in, you just can't get the workout in, but the number one thing you got to focus on if you can't work out that day is you got to eat right. And especially on those days, you got to keep your carbs low. All right, what's going on everybody? Now it's Wednesday, hump day. And I got here early this morning, trained my clients at, uh, when I start? 5.30 this morning. And then once I was done, I've been on the phone all morning, getting everything ready, uh, talking to people who are wanting to come in and be guest speakers at the uh, NACA event. So finally, I have gotten all my calls out of the way, and now it's time for me to get my workout in. Let's kill it. Finished the workout, I'm back home now. And when I got home, it's awesome to have things sitting on your uh, doorstep. And I'm super excited about trying these. I just got the new Quest pumpkin pie bars. Uh, super excited. You know, it's that time. I, I just load up on all kinds of pumpkin sugar-free syrups and everything for the coffee because I know when Starbucks starts serving all their pumpkin spice lattes, I'm going to want something so bad. So I'm going ahead and prepare, preparing ahead of time. <laughs> okay, what's up, guys? It's Friday, and man, I'm so mad. I forgot my, uh, my ear pods, so luckily I always have a reserve. At least these are wireless ones I mean they'll make do but anyways it's Friday uh, I'm about to start this workout I'm not gonna lie this week I had like big plans on just starting this starting my plan and just coming out the gates and I have started but it didn't come out the gates as strong as I wanted to because Monday is when everything went crazy with the NACA Keto Games Expo. And all the athletes were testing their blood ketones and we, everything, you know, we ended up changing some of the, the scoring format and we extended the deadline. And I've been announcing all these new guest speakers and all the exhibitors that are going to be there and it's just been insane my phone's been going nuts um, and then I've been having to take time to send out all these emails and talk to different people and get things set up so 
Uh, my workouts probably haven't been as strong as they normally are when I can just relax and focus on them. So I'm going to try to hit the pause but button on all my distractions, really try to crush these four lifts and then get my um, 30 minutes of cardio in and then right back at it. Because guys, if you don't know about this, NACA Keto Games Expo here in Dallas, October 12th. I'm telling you, this is gonna be big. This is gonna be big. Go follow at National Athletic Keto Association on Instagram. That's where I'm doing all the updates. Uh, so far, I have announced that Robert Sykes, uh, aka Keto Savage, and then uh, Sean Wells, Zone Halo, and um, William Schufelt, the Red Power Ranger. So far, I've announced those three as guest speakers, and I have a lot more to announce still. Uh, so those are going to be guest speakers. They're going to be there over the, the weekend. And uh, gosh, guys, I'm excited. I'm excited. But like I said, I got to take my mind off that, focus about this workout, and then I'll tune back in with you guys later. All right, see you. What's up? All right, so it's Friday night, and uh, there's a new place that opened up near the house, like literally like a mile and a half from the house. It's uh, a new meat market, and it's also a bar and grill, but they've got some pretty exclusive and, and uh, pretty special meats that you don't get anywhere else. So I'm checking it out. Also, you guys notice this shirt right here, Goody. I'm repping you, man. Got those grass-fed gains, all right? We'll see what it looks like. Check this out. Uh, this is a Wagyu burger with um, habanero bacon on it. Okay. As you can see, we got some lettuce here. You can see there's there's the habanero bacon right there, Wagyu, and some creamy uh, coleslaw. And then this is a pastrami burger. Same thing. Got the habanero bacon on it uh, with the Wagyu beef and then the creamy coleslaw as well time to eat okay what's going on everybody so it's saturday afternoon and not only am i a keto guy but i'm also a jeep guy and they are hosting here in dallas the the truck and jeep fest going on right now so let's go in check it out i'll show you guys some of the newer jeeps and uh see what else is in there all right Cowboy right here.
is a uh, little view of the Jeep and truck show. Got to see some cool new uh, Jeep Gladiators. Like I said, that's going to be the future vehicle of Fit Keto Cowboy one day. Uh, but anyways, we are going to go and see if we can find some place to eat. Okay, we found this place and I remember talking about this before and I keep forgetting about it. It's a place called Skinny Fats here in Dallas. Actually, uh, check this out. This is their Tesla right here. Anyways, we're hoping by the name it's called Skinny Fats. So they might have some keto friendly stuff. So let's go in and check it out. show you what that is when it comes out but also here's a drink that you guys can have when you're out and about and you still want to try to keep it keto you see right here check that out so this is Topa Chico with a shot of tequila with a dressed rim and a lime it's a good one to have okay so here's what we ordered <laughs> they got this shrimp called pimp shrimp. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that it's fried. Sometimes you come across this, but it's on a uh, cucumber um, roll type deal with avocado and all, all the other good stuff. So I guess I'm going to have to peel the fried off, but it looks amazing. And then this one is a um, zucchini noodle bowl, and I had them add some filet mignon to it. And then next we have some Brussels sprouts with um, some sliced almonds and caramelized uh, onions and all that good stuff. And then she got some cucumbers. Uh, replace the cu uh, the what what it, what would it come with? Oh yeah, the pita. Replace the pita with cucumbers. You got some hummus. And then she got a what was this? A turkey bacon burger? Like a BLT kind of yeah, like a BLT. But went ahead and did a lettuce wrap as well. So that's what is for lunch. What's up? All right, it's Sunday morning. Uh, we woke up and we are at the gym right now. I'm working some chest and try today. And then afterwards, we're going to go grab something to eat, go grocery shopping, and we're going to get some stuff. We're going to do some, uh, some of those air fryer recipes today that I was talking about last week. Remember, we got a new air fryer. So we'll do some of those today. But right now, got to go do some chest and try. went grocery shopping and then like I told you we did some air fryer stuff or we are doing some air fryer things right now so let me show you what we got going first we've got some avocado fries right here with some Parmesan cheese some uh, crumbled up um, uh, pork rinds and uh, so we're gonna throw them in our new little air fryer right here I think it's, it's warming up right now uh, we're doing Hickama fries, avocado fries, uh, radish chips, and some chicken tenders, I believe. Also, are we, we just do some pickles thing? Some some fried pickles too. So, I'll show you guys how we do it. All right. Okay, let me show you the avocado fries right here. So the next thing that we're throwing in there is chicken and pickles. Here we go, take a look. Since it's National Waffle Day, we're gonna make it chicken and waffle day. 
Okay, so the chicken and the pickles are done now. So let me show you that. Also, uh, she made the copycat, uh, what was it? The copycat what? Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick sauce. So there's chicken right there. And there's the pickles right there. And there is the sauce. Okay, so like I said earlier, today is National Waffle Day. And so we've never had this chaffle that everybody's talking about. So we're making it right now. It's a cup of cheese with two eggs, and that's what makes one waffle. So check it out. And while that chaffle is, is uh, getting cooked, we have some jicama fries going in the basket right now in the air fryer. Continue watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button right here. And until next time, keep wrapping and flexing. We'll see you later.